Yo, what is up guys? So there is new train support here in action. We're gonna go ahead, of course, show it off with some gameplay here. So uh, some of these cards you might be familiar with, but don't worry, there's gonna be a lot of new cards for the train. I don't know if I would call trains an archetype, but they are like a bunch of cards that just work well. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just a bunch of rank 10s. Let's see, the World Legacy Survival I'm gonna be activated over here, but more importantly, we got the Mega card over here. So you thought the Gustav Max was huge? Well, the Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Libe is here with 10,000 attack. Do you think he's going to survive? No. So anyways, this part is three level 11 monsters. But the fact is, once per turn, you can also exceed summon this by using one rank 10 monster as material. You transfer its materials. But... Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, and this card gains 2,000 attack and defense. Also, you cannot declare attack for the rest of the turn, except for this card. This card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase, up to... Where is it? Uh, the number of materials attached to it plus one. But, you know, when you have that much attack, you probably don't need to attack multiple times, but just for overkill, that's basically what the star player is going to be doing. We also have a few other cards uh, for the archetype, which you guys will of course see. That's just kind of one of those one punch oriented decks. Um, that it's just another option for the trains at the end of the day. But majority of the time, I'd say like one of their best cards is still Superior Dora. But we're gonna go ahead and use one of the new cards, Urgent Schedule. So if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you get to spell summon one level four or lower machine monster and one level five or higher machine monster from your deck and defense position. Their effects are negated. Uh, and you can't declare attacks to turn you activate this card except for with machine monsters. But does that really matter? Of course not. Um, and anyways, this card also has a bonus effect. This set card was sent from the field to the graveyard. You get to add one level 10 machine monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect but once per turn. That is an insane effect. Indeed, obviously we're gonna have a lot of great targets in this deck, but uh, there are more new cards, of course. Um, so I'm going to kind of let these kind of play out so you guys can kind of get an idea. Um, but the Runaway Railcar Flying Pegasus has the effect when it is normal or special summoned. Uh, you can target a Earth Machine Monster Graveyard except for itself and you special summon it, its effects are negated. Um, and then also you can target one other face up monster. You control the levels of both that monster and this card become the same level. You can't Declare attacks for the turn you activate this effect, uh, except with Exceed Monsters. So that's kind of interesting, although that doesn't really matter at the end of the day, because a lot of times it's just going to be, pump up this boy over here, and go ahead and search out another card. He's going to have a 6,000 beater, 3,000, and again, he can attack multiple times, and with that hand, I guess he just decided it was GG. Um, this card doesn't have any real protection. It, all it really comes down to is, I'm going to get a monster with absurd amounts of attack, um, sometimes, I mean, you guys already saw it, it did gain uh, extra attack to the point where it was 10,000. But, uh, again, this is pretty much how this is going to be playing. Oh, dude, is we're playing Duel Links? We've got Amazon this year? Uh, no, uh, but I'll go over all of the new cards um, in just a moment when we go over the deck profile. But we also have the Bullet Liner. This is another uh, newer card. It says it can't declare an attack unless you send two other cards uh, you control to the graveyard. And it does have 3,000 attack. <laughs> but anyways, you can see he's just going to go smack him. Um, unfortunately, he can't attack any more times, but it is definitely nice to be able to do that. But anyways, going back to the other card. Well, I guess it won't let me mouse over because it's already game over. Dang it. Well, we'll get into it once we go over to the deck profile. But I'm trying to show you guys a variety here. Shout out to my boy Teriyaki for these. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, okay, here's the card I wanted to go over because this is one of the... One of the newer cards. The rest of the cards, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen before, like Superior Door, Good Stuff Max. But Regeki's activated, it's gonna go ahead and protect that card. But we lose our Speedy Express Bullet Liner. So, anyways, you have to send uh, two other cards you control to the graveyard to declare an attack. But if all monsters you control are Earth uh, Earth Machine monsters, minimum one, you can special summon this card from your hand. So it's just at the end of the day, it becomes another just special summon this card. Uh, but during the end phase, if this card was in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can target a machine monster in your graveyard except for itself 
and add it back to your hand. So it has some recyclability, but that special schedule gonna be bringing back our boys 6,000 to the face. It's just really nasty just to be like, yo, dude, just 6K. Uh, potentially you can, again, like the other time, he did get it up to 10K, but for the most part, just being able to smack your opponent for a lot of damage sometimes can be quite useful. But then we have the rail car doing that extra little damage here. He's gonna go ahead and summon another monster. At the end of the day, even though this card can't attack, it still has that ability to potentially just give you a big beater. Uh, we have the infinite um, permanent's gonna go ahead and negate that, but he's got the soul flare dragon. He's gonna go ahead, put that orbital right onto it. He's gonna go ahead and search out that card. This card is so dang good, but kind of unfortunate you're gonna have to wait for this. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start special summoning a bunch of monsters. Superior Dora, gonna go ahead and get rid of that card. It makes it so it can make any card uh, unaffected except for by uh, this own effect, which is of course Superior Dora. Really good stuff indeed over here. But now that you guys have seen the replays in action, let's go ahead and go over some of the new cards and I kind of want to talk a little about them. So let's go ahead and talk a little about it. So as far as the deck goes, you technically can run, I would say you could honestly run like Desires and uh, yeah, the Pot of Indulgence, maybe just like 1-1. One, one. Uh, because Trains is a relatively fast deck and there's not like a key card that if you banish you just automatically lose. It's kind of like, kind of dealt with what you've got and got to make some fast decisions in it. But the main new card that we're really here to talk about is the uh, Rogue Cannon jug uh, Juggernaut uh, Libel, Libby, the, uh, whatever, whatever we want to call it. But anyways, that's kind of like the star player of like the newer cards that uh, is available here. But then I also went over this. It's, this card is just like a big beater at the end of the day that you can just easy summon it. Um, but I really feel like the, the Pegasus is quite great too. I mean, in fact, most of the new support is definitely great for them, but can they really do very much? Uh, I feel like a lot of times the problems that you'll have with this deck are actually going to be the Solemn cards because once you get Solemn, I would say the deck doesn't really have too many follow-up plays. Yeah, you might be able to summon like another one monster, but you use a lot of cards, especially if you get this stop. Like if you're trying to pump it up, get that, you know, one shot in, if this card goes away, you're just not going to be looking too good. Um, but I mean, it... it does give the deck, I guess, options to go for OTKs. In fact, I was thinking that, like, maybe you could try to add multiple material to it, but I mean, at the end of the day, it, I would say it's more of a cheese-oriented thing to just try to one-shot your opponent, but people like that kind of stuff, so I understand. But yeah, I feel like this card is really good. Just being able to target an Earth, Machine Monster, Graveyard, just special summon it, and then target one other face-up, loves both that monster and this. Really easy to go for some big boy plays. But uh, anyways, I'll mouse over the deck for any of you guys that are maybe interested in building it. I don't think trains have actually changed much. Um, this is just the announcement of one of the cards. I was really thinking trains were going to get a link card, like link railway, railway or something for trains. Like it makes perfect sense to have them linked. But um, yeah, urgent schedule is also really, really, I think this card, like I was talking before about um, you don't really have any options after I saw them. This card is just so ridiculous. Just... Control my monsters. All right, let me summon a level four or lower and a level five or higher from your deck. Like just being able to get two monsters is absolutely ridiculous. And what's even better with this is you could technically stall with it as well if you open up maybe with too many of these. Uh, and then even if it's set and it's destroyed, you get to add any level ten. That's huge. We didn't see that effect, but it does have technically that other ability. If maybe you open up with too many, you can go ahead and activate one. Maybe even set one. And then to destroy it, well, dude, you're just going super plus because it's a quick play. That's dirty. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'll mess over the cards real quick. Uh, so it's, it's I would say, pretty standard. So three knight, express knight. Um, if, if any of you guys have played trains, I haven't really seen anyone play trains in uh, 2018. Uh, they just haven't been as popular. I remember when uh, like Gustav Max came out. I played this deck for a while. It's kind of cheesy. Uh, but now, like, this is, like, the main card that you're going to be making. And if you have the option to go for this, that's pretty good. But yeah, uh, three Knight Express Knights, it's just a card that you can summon and it's just level 10 and it happens to fit all the requirements in the deck. And then we have three copies of Speedy Express Bullet Liner. Again, that's the one that you can just summon, big beater, easy. But you're probably not going to be sending those two other cards you control the graveyard to declare the attack, but whatever. It is technically there because Rare Card also has an effect where if this card was in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you get to add one from a deck to your hand, which is kind of nice. But the other effect of it, you can burn your opponent turn one, but you can't conduct your battle phase. But turn one, I feel like 
your options are kind of limited other than like go for these but sometimes it's there right um but anyways next up we have three copies of the heavy freight train duracrane um, again, this is an older card anyways, so we won't really go over it. Uh, the uh, rail car, another older card, the new car, the runaway rail car flying Pegasus, we got three of those. We've got three Ash foreheads, we've got two copies of Ghost Ogre. Uh, I also, you know what I was thinking that would be kind of good, is even just running like a Veiler maybe instead, I don't know, Ash Blossom is really good, but like, when you have a superior door, it's very difficult for most opponents to deal with it, because it has 4,000 defense and 3,200, and on top of that, when you have this 6k beater, all you really need is just one card to protect it, and you could be good to go. Um, but at the end of the day, again, it's more cheese than anything. But yeah, we've got three Ash, uh, two go, two Ogre, playing two copies of Pot of Indulgence. I don't know how I feel about running double. I, I think one of these and a Desires could be okay, because if you use two of these, that's it. Like, you're pretty much running out of your extra deck, because that's going to be 12 cards. And I would say you pretty much will be going fast. I would say this deck is usually determining its winner within the first few turns anyways, uh, because if you don't have, like, these are really important. Um, obviously these, you know, you, you have access. Um, I, forgot, I forgot how you summon this with this, uh, through level 12. Um, no, these are all 10. Uh, there might be another card that you can, like, maybe change the level with. I, I didn't see it in the gameplay here. It might have been just a deck that he had, um, Actually, you can't put this on top of another one, right? I know, like I said before, sometimes people get decks um, and they just get a deck profile that was already like partially built and just like go for it. But it might just be an extra card because it does count as a machine. Um, but anyways, uh, Pot of Indulgence, we got two of those. We got two copies of Terraforming for a really important card. We got Foolish, uh, of course, for your rail car. Search out your stuff. And then we got Special Schedule. I think this one has to be on the field, right? Just want to double check on this. If this card was in the graveyard because it's sent there this turn. Yeah, okay. Just double checking on that. Uh, but yeah, then we got three copies of Special Schedule. So this one, just get a machine and your graveyard. Pretty much majority of the targets that you want to get out are going to be able to be Special Schedule with Special Schedule. But also, if the set card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you get, tar get one level 10 machine monster graveyard and add it to your hand. So a lot of them have kind of bonus effects. This is the Urgen Schedule. I basically went over that card. is ridiculous. Um, and then we have three copies of Train Connection. So it must be equipped to an Earth machine monster by banishing two, lo uh, two level 10 or higher machine monsters uh, from your graveyard and cannot be equipped by other ways. The equipped monster becomes double its attack, uh, double its original attack, and in fact, defense position you get to do piercing and then other monsters you control can't attack but it doesn't matter because you know the uh juggernaut has that effect anyways where like this is the only card that can attack so whatever it doesn't really matter um you know what you could technically run uh, this card is just really dirty uh this one does do piercing so it can help um because a lot of times against trains they'll just try to set stuff because they do not want to get otk but now at this point while well, you're piercing you got uh you know double its uh original attack then you can boost it up by again another uh 2k and then that's how you 10k like your opponent can have a monster with like 2,000 attack and you still one shot them which i think is dumb but welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh, right um but anyways next up the really important card for the archetype is uh the revolving switch charge so if a level 10 uh earth machine type monster is normal or special summon you get to activate this effect your opponent takes no battle damage for the rest of the turn even if this card leaves the field but you can special summon one level four machine uh monster with 1800 or more attack from your deck and if you do it becomes a level 10 so that's really good but also you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to add one level 10 if i can move this uh, add one level 10 machine monster from your deck to your hand you can only use one revolving switcher effect per turn only once per turn but it's obviously a really good card you need this card it's so important for them then we have triple infinite impermanence negate your opponent's stuff chalice has been getting a little bit of play too but this card overall is just it's just seeing a little bit more play. Potentially hitting that, that extra back row can be pretty big sometimes, especially when you're playing online. People don't normally uh, have the uh, auto card uh, uh, unchecked. So, yeah. Black Strike, we got three copies of 77, three copies of Quantal Great Magnus. I honestly don't know how to bring this out, but there might be some way in here. But anyways, we got three copies of the Juggernaut, the new card, three copies of number 81, three copies of... Gustav Max, which is one of my favorite rank 10s in the game. But anyways, guys, those are the new trains. Let me know what you thought of it. If you have a different idea for a build, I would love to see that in the comment section below. Maybe, you know, if you guys got suggestions to make this deck a little bit more competitive, I'd love to hear it. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Shout out once again to my boy Teriyaki for the train replays. But yeah, that's new train stuff, guys. But thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'm out.